Looking at these energetic and athletic wolf dogs, you might be surprised to find out that these are two different breeds. In fact, you might just think that one husky is, well, huskier than the other. Well, we're here to tell you that the bigger Spitz breed sled dog is actually a Malamute, an entirely different breed from the husky. While they're both sled dogs with some similar physical characteristics, they definitely are not the same. And as we'll find out, one might be better for you than the other. So let's get to know these fabulous wolf dogs. Appearance The first thing you'd notice about the Husky and the Alaskan Malamute is their difference in size, although they appear to be similar in height. The Malamute is much larger than the medium-sized Siberian Husky. The average Malamute can weigh up to 100 pounds, while a full-grown Husky comes in at a lighter 60 pounds. However, this isn't the only difference in terms of the physical appearance of both breeds. Apart from being bigger, the Malamute appears to have longer and fuller fur. Plus, the Husky has a longer, fuller, downward-pointing tail. Before we continue, make sure to check the links in the description. We found the best deals for online dog training, dog supplies, pet insurance, and more. What are you waiting for? While the Malamute has a smaller standing tail, the Malamute also has a white cap on its head, in contrast to the white mask on the Husky's face. What's more, the Husky is more likely to have heterochromia, i.e. one blue and one brown eye, than the Alaskan Malamute, which usually has both brown eyes. Temperament Apart from their physical differences, these dogs have very different temperament attributes. Everyone knows about the vocal Husky that barks, howls, and screams as it communicates. This is in stark contrast to the more muted Malamute. Not only is it muted, but it also tends to be more aloof than the highly sociable husky. Plus, the Malamute's overall demeanor is more aggressive than the husky, meaning it might be less suited for families. Physical Activity As we might have alluded to earlier, both these breeds are very energetic and athletic breeds. However, their strengths were displayed and used in very different ways from one another throughout history. The husky, which originated in Siberia, the cold bitter horizon in Russia, is known to have more endurance and is capable of going for days without food, as it pulls sleds over long distances over the Siberian slopes. Lean and athletic, it's built for speed, and as you can see in the dog sled competitions that go on to this day, the husky has no plans of slowing down. In contrast, the Malamute was built for strength, as is clear from its big and muscular body. For this reason, you can see why they were used to pulling heavy loads from one short distance to another in Alaska at a much slower pace. However you look at it, both breeds are physically capable dogs that love tasks and exercise, and failing to do so would only result in having a frustrated sled dog in your home. So daily exercise and physical training are very important for both of these dogs, especially if you want your husky to stop chewing on everything, or if you don't want your Malamute to dig their infamous holes everywhere. Health. Last but not least, the Husky tends to live longer with fewer health issues. With the Husky, you have to look out for certain eye diseases such as progressive retinal atrophy and cataracts. Ensure regular checks with the vet so that your Husky will be able to get the best life throughout its 12 to 15 year lifespan. Meanwhile, there are quite a few more issues to worry about with the Alaskan Malamute. These include but are not limited to blindness, hemophilia, and several forms of cancer. I guess it's fair to say that you can see how different these breeds can be. So, which one appealed to you more? The calm and quiet, yet somewhat aloof powerhouse that is the Malamute, or the leaner and highly sociable and energetic Husky? Let us know in the comments below. With that, our video has come to an end here. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more pets and dog-related content. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.